Hi everybody, this is Shah and this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th of August. I hope you enjoyed last week's uh, videos and remember we're already by the end of this coming week we will be at the middle of August and remember August is a very active and uh, strong power month there's a lot of positive things happening that's what the cards have been saying so I wonder what this week will bring and welcome back my cyber angels and thank you for your enormous support and uh, your shares and likes uh, a lot of you might be on holiday. If you are on holiday, please stay safe and enjoy your holiday and hope to see you back alive in safety and well-being. And for those that have just landed on this page, hi, I'm Shah, the Cyber Mum, as we have uh, live sessions as well on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you would like to join us in the live sessions, the live sessions is the Tea Room, known as the Tea Room, and the followers, the viewers, are my Cyber Angels and... Um, or cyber babes as they were known in the first early stages but they've prom I've promoted them to cyber angels okay if you would like to become a cyber angel and get a free card or have a question then I am willing to answer that so long they are supported by a super chat or a super sticker then join us on Monday Wednesday and Friday so please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified and I do put out extra notifications on Instagram Facebook and the community tab in YouTube there are a lot of exciting new things happening and that's why the intro is uh, slightly longer than usual. Um, I have done a couple of reviews and I've also um, been live for the first time on uh, Cyber Fair on Facebook. You can see the video on that as well. It was for charity and I, I am putting the link to the charity below each video this week. Um, as I would like to share things with you. I feel honoured and I'm, I've had a second chance after the two car accidents uh, that you all know about. I have whiplash and I've come through it and um, I would like to give something back, not just towards uh, anybody that's watching my videos, but to more people. Uh, the charity is for the children that are blind, but also uh, their families and the next of kin. I will leave the information below. Please feel free. Don't feel um, that you have to, but if you know somebody that's blind or a child with difficulties like that um, or has a parent that is blind, it it does affect other family members. So if you would like to donate, thank you very much in advance and everything is welcome, even if it is 25 cents. If we all club together, it can become a great whopping uh, amount and that will give them perhaps uh, a day out or a holiday or sustain them in an other way. I know what it is like to be without financial aid. Um, this is a small charity. Um, I don't like to support big charities too much because they get subsidized by the municipalities and the governments. Or other institutions so this is um, uh, from me and from uh, uh, my viewers hopefully and this will go directly to the Royal British Society for the Blind uh, you can check it out yourself because I'll leave the link of the website underneath this video and in uh, the description box and uh, also uh, the money doesn't come to me I don't want to receive any money please pay directly into the um, association for the blind thank you very very much if you feel you can do it and you want to do it there again um, 
I am stunned for words. I enjoyed the session. It was a life experience and you can see the video on how that went as well. And I hope to do it again sometime, hopefully next month, uh, see how things go. Let me know what your reaction is, whether you like uh, the idea that I'm doing this or have you got a suggestion of a very small uh, institution uh, or a trust that or an organization that could help uh, financial could benefit with financial help I'm willing to promote it because I'm got a, got a second chance and I'm blessed with you my cyber angels and my life and my children and my animals uh, so that's why I want to do it to a specific organization give a little bit back to society remember this is like the wheel of fortune and the world it's karma as well what goes round comes round thank you in advance and be blessed stay safe and i hope you enjoy the video ciao ciao hi pisces this is shah and this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th and uh, let's get started and you, the first card you have is the Ten of C. That is the Ten of Cups. It is, the sun is going down here, so you can see the rays of the sun on your cards. That is a blessing uh, in itself. So, and you've got a rainbow. Happy families, reunion with family and friends. The ultimate emotional happiness. There might be an extension in the family. This could be with ch with children or with pets, and you might be finding out you're pregnant. There's an ending to difficult times, as this is a 10, and of course, and there is a new beginning. On Wednesday, you have the star. So a wish or a goal is coming to fruition. Any time this week, but most likely on Wednesday. You could also be meeting an Aquarian, as the star represents Aquarian. Beautiful, positive cards. I have not sought them out. Believe that. And you have the um, Ace of Sky. The Ace of Swords. Victory is yours with regards to a question or a situation. You could be meeting a um, Gemini, an Aquarian, or a Libra. This is a new beginning. Like I said, there is definitely a new beginning and your wish is coming to fulfillment. If you are in a judicial situation or issue, then you'll have victory. Great stuff. You might start a new study as the swords stand for wisdom communication, uh, also clarity, honesty and justice. Something will become clear to you. Wow, you might hear some information and this could be new information. That's why you have the ace, new beginnings of something. If you haven't been talking to somebody, then there could be new, new communication. Uh, there might be new information that you can use in a situation or to answer a question you have. Again, this is a ju also judici uh, judici uh, municipalities and institutions, so there could be a new beginning. Now, if I, if I see this, this is the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands means celebrations, but also a wedding. Perhaps one of you uh, might get married. This could be a new beginning, a lawful um, or an official beginning. As the card, the Ace of Swords means officiality. So you might get make your relationship official. But there will be celebrations. You can see the dogs in the back. There will be people celebrating with you. And if you are going to a wedding, if you're not getting married yourself, you might be uh, celebrating with family and friends. Like I said, the ultimate emotional fulfillment, perhaps a new house or a birth or an extension of the family. 
you um you will be celebrating there will be people there at this gathering you uh, will be networking or making new friends these partnerships or friendships will be built on proper foundations whoa nice one so that is really great so if you are in a judicial situation um this week then you your wish will come true the truth will come out and you will have victory you can celebrate wow endings to difficulties and emotional fulfillment now from the um, healing of with the angels we have new love like i said you might be getting married but if you're not getting married you might be invited to a wedding and you might meet a new love there if you are not hooked up if you are hooked up you might meet somebody that has a, a plan a, a new hobby or a new partnership like i see two here i see two here you might uh, like i said extension you might extend uh, to this person your friendship so yes friends can become family remember family is given to you and friends you choose so yes you might extend uh, your uh, f uh, family with a new friendship wow and then from a, a, Dway, a Dwayne Wire uh, or what um, I always forget his name. I think it's such a difficult name. Dr. Wayne Dyer, that's what his name is. <laughs> it, the first name sounds a lot like the second name. Sorry about that. The sixth secret. You can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. And it says, tame your ego. Tame your ego. Don't worry. Perhaps somebody's done you wrong and they said that your, your, your ego was too big, but the truth is coming out. It isn't because you can tame it and perhaps they have to tame their ego. It doesn't always have to be the querent. It can also be somebody around you. When you move beyond ego and make your higher self the dominant force in your life, you'll begin to feel that the con contentment and inner glow of peace and success that encourages you to feel good about yourself and i'll read that again when you move beyond ego so let go of your ego and make your higher self the dominant force your subconscious and your intuition your spirituality in your life you'll begin to feel that contentment and inner glow of peace and success that encourages you to feel good about yourself. So tame your ego. And I think you most probably have, but I think somebody else around you has to. That is what my gut feeling is telling me. And you have bronze from the color card strengthen your body strengthen your body bronze and you've got number 14 so that means um you might be out of balance if you have to tame your ego then you are out of balance but earth yourself because brown is also earthing that's the color of earth brown so walk with your bare feet if it's hot weather in earth or sand and if it's bad weather work with clay or something that is earthen that is how you can neutralize and clear your chakras listen to your intuition and your higher self that is how you can find contentment and relaxation now the last card that i have is knowing and this is so amazing in the last two or three videos that i've made i've used these cards again and this is actually what i call the theme card knowing and knowing is not only knowing the answers to questions by learning by studying but know yourself also 
by meditating and contemplating and evaluating situations at hand. That is knowing. Learn to know yourself. Then you can understand the rest much better and what is meant in communications, like the swords. Be as, as, as um, gentle as a pusscat, but be a tiger when you need to. Know when you have to do that and when you can do that. Wow. Doesn't she look beautiful? She looks like an Egyptian goddess. And yes, this looks like, um, uh, what you call it, an, uh, uh, like Sphinx or like a, a Siamese, a Burmese cat, a, an, or like a naked cat. They are absolutely gorgeous cats, the Siamese. I have one. And they are slim and sleek and they're intelligent and they wait and they watch. And they know when to pounce to get what they want. Their victory. Their ultimate happiness. And then they can celebrate. Knowing what to do, when to do it and how to do it. So perhaps you have to be as quiet as a mouse. And only scream or meow when necessary. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. They're short but there is a lot of information in this reading. Enjoy your week. Please like and share and join me in the life if you're not on holiday and if you're on holiday uh, you can if you would like to but enjoy your holiday and come back safe and sound and for the rest of you I hope to see you in the next life and stay safe and blessed as well. Take care, God bless and please share and like. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.